how are we already here? The final days of July are upon us. August is here on Thursday. Meteorologist Laura Power joining us now to talk about that short range forecast, how we're going to end off the month of July and what August will hold. Laura, what we know for sure is a lot of heat is coming. Yes, and we've been feeling that this weekend across the east. It's continuing and we're getting into those humid conditions to start off the week. But as a trough builds in across the east, we get another ridge building into the west, almost copy and paste from the last few weeks. We did get some relief, but back into the ridging pattern. OK, so let's take a look sort of where temperatures are at now over the next few days, where some of that hottest weather is and then what we'll see in the long range. Yeah, so all that heat is in the east. This is what you're looking at is the temperature anomaly for the next seven days. You notice those dark hue reds in Ontario, Quebec, even Atlantic Canada getting into the above average temperatures. But as we go into day three through 10, August 1st through 8th, the first week of August, all that heat moves to the southern prairies, those dark reds starting to infiltrate southern BC as well. Now let's talk about the moisture because of course the situation across Western Canada, we need some relief when it comes to these wildfires. We do see the system coming in for Monday, but beyond that, that's really where there's a lot of question marks. Yeah, there is. We're going to be getting substantial rainfall as the Pacific system moves into the West Coast, bringing substantial rain to the coastal regions, but we will see some of that spill in through the interior of BC across the north, but you notice a lack of precipitation across southern prairies. So what does that mean for the drought, for the fire danger? I think, you know, this is going to make so many headlines as we go now into August. Yeah, it's going to be a unfortunate start to August. Uh, that rain that we're going to get early week, you'll notice our monthly precip anomaly, meaning if we're above or below normal, is well below normal still, even with that early week rain. Now, as we've seen so much of the fire situation unfold within the interior of BC, especially within Jasper as well, air quality continues to be a concern. So let's talk about the fire danger rating and then also get into the air quality across the country. Yeah, well, uh, it, it seems that we're still holding on to these very high and extreme levels across southern prairies, the interior of BC, and even up towards the northern territories. But the good news is the air quality has eased a little bit through the end of the weekend, early week, and it's seeming like that's going to be the trend until at least midweek. Okay, one thing we will watch is as the system pulls out of Alberta, we could see those winds really pick up within the south of Alberta. So I know that's an element of the forecast that we're just going to keep sort of on highlight to watch those winds increasing. Now, something else, Laura, that's increasing is the humidity. The humidity is going to be sticky and uncomfortable for millions of Canadians, especially in the east. Yeah, definitely. All those dark greens you're seeing, although overnight we're seeing humidity during the days when those really deep hues of greens are going to set up, bringing in that humid air mass and unsettled conditions across the east. But you notice those oranges and reds moving kind of northward into the southern western Canada. That's where we're going to see that dry air mass return and bring back the dry heat. OK, now the dry heat associated with a heat dome. This setup is never good news. No, it's not. It's uh, something we've already seen this year. Big high pressure ridge setting up over northwestern United States and that in turn pushes northward, bringing that ridge into western Canada, BC, Alberta, southern prairies and even as high as the northern territories at times. So as we look at the entrance into August, what does this mean? We see a big ridging pattern. We see a lot of heat. Let's put some of the numbers down. Yeah, well, here's Thursday, August 1st. The temperatures are mid 30s across the southern prairies. I keep saying southern prairies, but that's where all that heat is definitely going to set up. Kelowna 34, Regina 35, but you notice a little bit of cooler temperatures up in the north, so that ridge isn't extending too high. And then the humidity in the east, that's going to spark off that storm potential as we go into the first days of August. That it is. A trough setting up over the east is bringing up all those unsettled conditions. The thunderstorm icons from Windsor up to Thunder Bay across all the way to Charlottetown. And that's going to be the trend going into the first weekend of August.